Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Monday, April 29, 2013. For the volatility index, the dollar weighted put call ratio on the VIX. For May, we have a bearish reading with 62% of the total premiums paid. June, we have a neutral reading with 30% of the total premiums paid. Those two were the big ones with volume here, and those are the ones that are worth watching. Let's go to the charts here. And let's start uh, with a SPX. Here we have the daily chart for SPX. As you can see here, we were up 0.72% for the day 11 handles. Very nicely here, doing a new intraday high for the um, all-time high. As you can see here, the closing high today was 1593. Last closing high was um, basically pretty much the same. We closed higher for 30 cents. But we did went higher, so I think we're going to 1600. That's pretty much a given. We're a couple of points away from that target there, and maybe a little higher. I'm gonna remain neutral here for SBX. On the Qs, here we have the daily chart for the Qs, up basically 1% for the day. Very nice action here. As you can see here, we have a high of the year which is important here we're looking for maybe going to 71 but I'm not looking for much of the momentum here I'm gonna remain neutral here for IWM I continue to be bearish here we were up 0.7 percent for the day and here I'm looking as you can see here we're continuing to make lower highs here on this name we bounced off the 50-day moving average from Friday and I think we're gonna basically stay around this level until we get something from non-farm payrolls. You can see here the volume, no volume here lately. As we've been going higher, the volume has been going lower. So that's what makes me bearish here on IWM. I think the target's gonna be 90, and that's my um, target here for IWM on the short term. Going to GLD. Here we have the daily chart for GLD up a percent today pretty nice here as you can see it here uh, we close here maybe looking for a test of this uh, 148 level in the next couple of weeks but I remain pretty neutral here difficult chart to trade based on this huge gap down we had so I'm neutral on GLD for SLV pretty much the same I remain neutral here on SLV up 2% for the day we were very oversold after that big uh, drop here. We shorted. We were short here. We touched our target here from 22. We got out basically. That was kind of lucky. A day before it started rallying here. Maybe looking for a close of this gap of uh, 25 um, 17. The next target here for SLV, where I remain neutral. Apple, very nice day here on Apple today. You can see a chart here up 3% for the day but we are failing to close above the 50-day moving average that's gonna be an important level to watch here the 50-day moving average we get some nice volume here on the bounce Friday and today so that's important I think we're eventually going to break that level maybe go to here to the 470 level around this area 464s so that's gonna be my target here on Apple Morgan Stanley very nice day here, almost 4% higher. We're still closing below the 50-day moving average. We got normal volume for the day. We broke this descending trend line. I think we're going to have some problems going above here. If we break that 50-day, I don't expect it to go much above this um, 2263 level. So that's what I'm watching here for Morgan Stanley. Google very nice day also for Google up 2.2 percent for the day we broke here the what we were watching previous highs here I'm neutral on Google I do think we could go easily to come and test this uh, all-time high of 844 but I don't I don't want to chase it here I think it's gonna be a very hard trade here if we do get to uh, those levels so I'm gonna pass on Google Amazon having a bad day today down um, two percent for the day. We broke here the one the two hundred day moving average, which is important. We talked about holding this level. We failed. I think we're coming to test this low here of two forty five. Once we get there, 
I'll probably think we're going to come and test this 220, 218, 220 level. Volume has been big. I am bearish on Amazon.